hello everyone welcome back to another video of easy tutorials youtube channel today in this video we are going to create a coming soon page where we will add one email subscription form or newsletter form in this form if user will enter any email id and click on the send button then we will receive the user's email id on our google sheet let me show you if i enter any demo email id here test at gmail.com for now let me show you the google set you can see here it is my google sheet and it is blank right now and let's come back and if i click on this send button then we will get a message thank you for subscribing it will be for five seconds and after that it will disappear and now let's check the google sheet so here you can see a new email id in this list so we will create this coming soon page with email subscription form using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have added one index.html file, one style.css file and one image for the background and one send icon. You will find all these images download link in the video description. Let me open these code files with my code editor, which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file because here we have added hdfstyle.css, the file name of the CSS file. Next, we will add quotes in the body tag. So within this body, we will add a div with the class name hero. Next, we have to add the CSS for this one. So let's copy this and paste it here in this CSS file. Here we will add the width and height. Next, we will add the background image and over this image, there will be dark layers. So here we will add linear gradient and two color codes. This is the first color code. Copy and paste it again after a comma, right comma, then write URL. And in this URL, you have to add the file path of the image that you want to use in the background. So here we will add the file name. background.png let's see in the folder here we have the file name background.png now after this background image we will add the background size then background position let's add some padding and color after adding this, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this image on complete web page and there is a dark layer on this image. Let me close this browser again and I will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page but the URL has been changed. Now we have to add some text and uh, form in this web page. So let's come back to the HTML file. Here we will add the text. We will add the text in H3. Then we will add the another title in H1. Here we will add the BR to change the line. After adding this title, again we will add a text in p tag. After adding these three lines, let's open the web page again. Here you can see these title on the web page. So we have to change its size and space. So let's come back and here in this CSS file, we will add dot hero h3 for the first title some space from the top then font weight and font size now for the another title which is in the h1 here also we will add some space from the top and font size 
then we have added a text in p tag here we will add just margin after adding this again refresh the website here you can see we have some space around this text and we have changed the font size and font weight next we have to add one input box and a button where user can enter their email id to send their email so let's come back and here in this html file after this p tag we will add a form write a form tag now within this form we have to add one input field so here we will add input type will be email and let's add the name name will be email after that we will add the placeholder in this placeholder i'll write the text your email id it will be required and after this input box there will be one send button so here we will add button tag button type it will be submit and in this button there will be no text here we will add one image so we will add img tag img and the file name of the image so we have added the image file name send icon dot png you can find this image link in the video description here we will add the width for this image width will be 30 pixel after adding this again refresh the website here you can see this input box button we will add the css to design this form so let's come back and here in this css file we will add the form tag we will add background background will be white then display will be flex and width will be fit content again write form and input we will design the input box that we have added within the form here we will add the border outline some padding and height of this form it will be 70 pixel and width 400 pixel and font size and after this input box we have added one button so again write form and button tag now for this button we have to add the background then we will add the border none and uh, outline none next we will add the height and uh, width cursor will be pointer after adding this you can see this send icon is also looking good we have designed this email subscription form next we have to display a message just below this input field so let's come back and here in this html file after closing of this form we will add one span tag and in this span we will add a message Thank you for subscribing. You can see this message here. So we have to change its color. So we will come back to the CSS file. Here we will add span and let's change the color. Then we will add some space from the top and display will be block you can see this message here 
now this message is displaying directly so we have to hide this one that we will do later and we have to connect this form with the google sheet for that go to the google sheet here you can create a new sheet and add any title in this one so i will add the title email list and here you have to add the field name so in this html file you can see we have added the input field name called email so it will be same in the google sheet file write email here so all the input email id will be displayed in this column if you have multiple input field in this form like name message or phone number so same way you can add other names in this column and that data will also displayed in this column after creating this google sheet and adding this field name click here on extensions then click on app script and here we have to add one script so just delete this one you can find this github link in the video description just click on this link and come to this page you can see the creator's name of this code here just scroll down and copy this script uh, starting from here copy and add it here in this app script paste and click on this save you can see this icon save project click here and after that click on run now it will give you this option review permissions select your account click on advance and click on go to untitled project unsafe okay we will change the project name here click on allow now you can see this message execution started and execution completed that's it let's change the project title also click here and uh, write the same title that we have added in the google sheet here we will add email list rename you can see the app name email list so after adding this click here on this button deploy select new deployment click on this settings icon and select web app here you have to add a description so in this description again we will add the email list here you don't have to change anything and in the last one select anyone it is important select anyone here then click on deploy after clicking here you will get an url like this so we will use this url in our html file come back to the github link and scroll down here you will find the script let's copy this one and paste it in our html file come back to the html file just above this closing body tag paste this script and in this script here you can see a script url so here we have to paste the app url so let's come back to the app script and copy this url like this and paste it here so we have added this url in this a script after that here you can see name called uh, submit to google sheet let's copy this one and we will add this here in this form this form tag is uh, starting here so in this form tag we will add name submit to google sheet it should be same here and here after adding this let's come back to the web page here if i enter any email id test at test.com and click on this 
send icon you will see the same message here and the form is as it is there is no changes but if I click here and inspect you can see in the console here you can see this success message success okay it means this form is working let's check our Google sheet and in this Google sheet you can see test at test.com so this form is working but we have to reset this form after clicking on the send icon and we have to hide this message it will be displayed after success so let's come back and uh, come to the HTML file here in this span you have to remove this one so it will be hidden and in this span we will add one ID ID called MSG for the message you can see this message is hidden right now let's come back and in this response remove this console.log and here we will add curly braces and in this one we will add success message so for that here just after this const we will add another const called msg equal to document dot get element by id and write the id msg and in this one again we will add msg dot inner html equal to this message that's it and after adding this let's come back and if I enter any another email ID here test2 at test.com you can see we will get the success message here but this success message is displaying continuously it is not hiding so we have to hide this message after few seconds so let's come back and here we will add set timeout let's add set timeout then function comma 5000 milliseconds and in this function we have to add the same line this one and remove this message it will be blank so after 5 seconds it will remove this message the message will be blank it should also reset the form there should not be any text in the input field so here we will add form dot reset like this after adding this again come back to the web page that we have created and here we will add another email id test3 at gmail.com test3 at gmail.com and click on this send icon now you can see this message thank you for subscribing and it will disappear after 5 seconds and you can see this input field is again empty so this web page is working fine let's check our google sheet here you can see test test 2 and this test 3 that we have added right now let me show you one more example here we will add avinas dm at outlook dot com click here we will get the success message again come back to the google sheet here you can see the another email id that we have entered in the email subscription form so this is how you can create an email subscription form and collect the user's email id i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video